Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into a hot topic that's been buzzing in the Counter-Strike community. The skill gap crisis in Counter-Strike 2. Has the game become too easy? Are the changes catering too much to newcomers at the expense of seasoned players? Let's break it all down. Counter-Strike 2 has introduced a slew of changes from updated mechanics to new features aimed at making the game more accessible. But is this accessibility diluting the skill gap that made Counter-Strike so revered in the first place? Let's start by analyzing the key gameplay changes. First off, let's talk about movement and shooting mechanics. In CS, mastering movement and recoil control was a badge of honor. The learning curve was steep, but that's what made it rewarding. CS2, on the other hand, has smoothed out some of these rough edges. For instance, the recoil patterns are more predictable and the movement feels less punishing. This has sparked a debate. Are these changes lowering the skill ceiling? To give you a clearer picture, let's dive into the specifics. In CS, players had to master complex recoil patterns for each weapon. This required hours of practice and a deep understanding of the game's mechanics. In CS2, these patterns have been simplified. While this makes the game more accessible to newcomers, it also means that the skill differentiation based on recoil control is less pronounced. Another area of contention is movement mechanics. Bunny hopping and strafing were advanced techniques that separated the good players from the great ones in CS. These techniques have been made easier in CS2, leading some to argue that the game no longer rewards high-level skill as much as it used to. Now, let's talk about map design. Maps in CS2 have been tweaked for better flow and fewer dead zones. While this sounds great on paper, it inadvertently reduces the strategic complexity. The old maps forced players to think creatively and adapt on the fly. The new designs, while visually stunning, seem to guide players more, reducing the need for on-the-spot tactics. For example, classic maps like Dust Roman 2 and Mirage have seen changes that streamline gameplay. While this can lead to more consistent matches, it also means there are fewer opportunities for players to exploit map knowledge and outsmart their opponents. This shift towards more balanced maps can be seen as reducing the skill gap. Another significant change is the economy system. The adjustments made to the in-game economy in CS2 are designed to be more forgiving, allowing for more frequent buy rounds. This change, while making the game more exciting and fast-paced, can also be seen as reducing the depth of strategic planning that was required in previous iterations. In CS, managing your team's economy was a crucial skill. Deciding when to save, when to force buy, and how to manage your resources over multiple rounds added a layer of strategic depth. In CS2, the more forgiving economy means these decisions are less impactful, which some players feel diminishes the strategic element of the game. Now, let's dive into some community opinions. Many veteran players argue that these changes are making the game too easy. They miss the days when you had to grind to master the mechanics and maps. On the flip side, newer players are finding the game more welcoming and enjoyable, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's a classic case of balancing accessibility with maintaining a high skill ceiling. Let's look at some specific community reactions. On Reddit and various gaming forums, discussions are heated. Some players appreciate the more accessible mechanics, stating that it allows more people to enjoy the game without getting discouraged. However, others argue that this comes at the cost of the game's competitive integrity. One Reddit user, for example, commented, CS2 is great for casual play, but I feel like it's lost some of its hardcore edge. The thrill of mastering difficult mechanics was a big part of the game's appeal for me. This sentiment is echoed by many long-time players who feel that the game is moving away from its roots. On the other hand, a newer player mentioned, I love the changes in CS2. I always felt like CS was too hard to get into, but CS2 feels more approachable. I can actually enjoy playing without getting wrecked every match. 
This highlights the divide in the community between preserving the hardcore nature of the game and making it more inclusive. In conclusion, Counter-Strike 2's changes are undeniably making the game more accessible, but at what cost? Has the challenge been diluted to appeal to a broader audience? As always, I want to hear your thoughts. Do you think CS2 is too easy, or are these changes a necessary evolution for the game? Drop your opinions in the comments below, and let's get this discussion started. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more gaming content. See you in the next video.